is this is a measurement of the magnitude of the differences in the ranks and the question now that we have is whether this is significant or not okay so the the critical values for the test are critical values okay? are taken from a set of tables yeah critical value tables and the tables i'm actually going to use here okay uh, are taken from a text here which is non-parametric statistics by corder uh, and foreman and um, and the tables are down the back of that particular book and you can see it's critical values for a cruskal wallace h test the number of groups that we have is three and to figure this out we need to know the size of the first sample the second sample the third sample and also the significance level okay so in our case here the samples are four four and three so we have four four say four four and three and the significance level is that alpha is equal to 0 0.05 so the critical value is 5.598485 so it's the critical value for the h is equal to uh, five point five nine eight four eight five yeah okay which is approximately equal to five point i suppose five point six oh yeah not right to two decimal places okay. so that's our critical value and our decision our decision is we reject we reject if the h statistic the test statistic is bigger than the critical value associated with that with that particular h statistic and clearly we have you can see this clearly 2.2014 is not bigger than 5.5 or 5.6 or 5.98485 and as such as such we fail because we only reject if h is bigger than ch we as such we fail to reject h0 so there's no evidence we're failing to reject this so there's no evidence to suggest that there is a difference in ranks there's no evidence okay now sorry i probably i probably need to continue here is i should have actually said at the start and i think i did say at the start is that we're going to deal with tires okay now in this situation here okay uh, i've never taken into consideration the correction factor for tires so what i need to actually do is i need to calculate this correction factor for tires and the h value needs to be divided by this correction factor okay so let's calculate this correction factor for tires okay and then let's let's run it again okay so our correction factor let me just fold this over here for tires okay, our correction factor for tires uh, let's say our correction factor okay for tires okay is i suppose let's say it's <coughs> i said that, that was critical h so let's say our correction factor Okay, uh, is equal to one minus the sum of t cubed minus t all over n cubed minus n. And we already know we already know the n cubed. So the question is, is how many groups have ties? And we've already seen that. We've got one group here, we've got another group here, and we've got another group. So there's three groups with ties. So we're gonna have to calculate this t cubed minus t three times. So in relation to the first group, there's only two values in it. Okay, so we have this becomes c of f is equal to one minus. Okay, for the first group, there's two values, so it's two cubed minus two. Plus for the second group, the second group, how many ties are there? There's two in it as well. So once again, it's it's two cubed minus two. Plus for the third group, there's three values in it, so it's actually three cubed. It's three cubed minus three. Okay. divided by n cubed n is 11 okay so divided by 11 cubed minus 11 okay and let's just run that on our calculator here so c of f is equal to 1 minus okay well what we've got here this is this is 8 minus 2 gives us 6 okay and um, plus this is 8 minus 2 gives us 6 plus this is 3 trees 3 trees is 9 3 nines is 27 27 minus 3 gives us 24 Okay, and that needs to be divided by 11 cubed, 11 to the power of 3, is equal to 1, 3, 3, 1, minus 11. So our correction factor is 1 minus, and what have we got here? We have 12, we have 36, divided by 1, 3, 2, 0. Oh. So we have our correction factor is 1 minus 36, divided by 1, 3, 2, 0. Oh. Gives us a value of 0 0.027, 0 0.027. So our correction factor, we take one one minus zero point zero two seven, that gives a correction factor of zero point nine seven three.
So now we have our correction factor. The actual test statistic corrected, let's say corrected, is the original test statistic where we assume no ties divided by the correction factor. Now our original test statistic, uh, assuming that there was no ties, was 2.2014. So it's 2.2014, which needs to be divided by okay, uh, 0 0.9. 773 okay so we have our corrected is equal to okay? so now we have 2.2014 divided by 0 0.973 okay? gives us a value of so it increases it slightly to 2.26 okay now when it comes to the decision okay, with the correction okay with with correction okay for tires Okay. We also compare a corrected H statistic. Okay, it gets compared to the critical value. If it's bigger than the critical value, okay, we reject. Otherwise, we fail to reject. Now we have 2.26 is not bigger than. We can clearly see that still. It's not bigger than 5.598485, and as such, we still fail to reject. We fail to reject H0. Okay, so there's still no evidence, even with the correction, there's no evidence to suggest that there's a difference in the ranks of those, across those three groups. Okay guys, once again this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, I hope that this video was uh, intuitive and more importantly I hope that was helpful for you and thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.